Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss one more application of Blennig-Riddle equation that is to find out the irrigation requirement for any crop. Already we have discussed what is Blennig-Riddle equation and how it is used to find evapotranspiration. So in this video, the question is wheat is to be grown in a certain place. For that particular place, we have the climatic data. Climatic data means temperature, sunshine hours, wind speed, humidity. So out of all that for blending riddle equation what we need is temperature and sunshine hours. So for 4 months that is from November to January, sorry November to February we have temperature, sunshine hours and effective rainfall. Effective rainfall is that rainfall which is available for the crop to grow. Uh, excluding all the losses that is infiltration, evaporation, and runoff. So excluding that whatever is available that is our effective rainfall. In this question we have to determine what is the evapotranspiration, what is the consumptive irrigation requirement and what is the field irrigation requirement if the water application efficiency is 80%. Also it is given that the crop factor is 0.8. So crop factor is nothing but it depends on the type and the developmental stage of the crop while growing. So this is how we will proceed. First we should know what is the blennig riddle equation that I have already written. The unit of this equation is in inches. So K is our crop factor. This is percentage daytime hours and this is the mean monthly temperature in Fahrenheit. So here as you can see all the temperature values are given in degree Celsius. So the first step is to convert all this into Fahrenheit and then multiply it with the other two terms to get the PET value for that particular month. PET value or evapotranspiration is nothing but same. So we will quickly calculate evapotranspiration for all the four months. So here as you can see I have done the calculation. So K value is nothing but 0.8, P is 7.2 and temperature we have converted all these four values and have kept in Fahrenheit. Similarly 15 degree Celsius is 59 Fahrenheit. So using this conversion formula we have calculated all the monthly PET values. The values that we get will be in inches. So again we have to add it up to get the evapotranspiration for that particular crop in that season. So we will just add all these four values to get the evapotranspiration. Adding all the values and converting them into inches from inches to centimeter we will get the value as 34.727 centimeter we simply will add all these four values whatever answer we are getting that will be in inches and then we will convert it into centimeter so this is what we are going to get so this is the first part of this question the next part is what is the consumptive irrigation requirement so before we move to the consumptive irrigation requirement, we should know what is this consumptive use requirement. So consumptive use is nothing but how much amount of water is used by a plant for its growth and how much extra water we have to supply extra in the sense in addition to rainfall how much we need to supply from our end by any method of irrigation be it from tube well be it from canal be it drip irrigation so whatever way you supply this extra water to meet the consumptive use that is called your consumptive irrigation requirement so here in this question already we know the useful rainfall useful or the effective rainfall is the same thing means Suppose I have a field, I have a crop in that, that crop needs 10 cm of water every day. Now, to give that crop 10 cm of water, I should supply 10 cm of water. But already some rainfall is occurring in that area which is 5 cm and all of that rainfall is useful for the plant. 
excluding all the losses. So now I need to supply only the remaining 5 cm. So that is what is consumptive irrigation requirement. How much you need to, to give to that particular field in addition of the effective rainfall. So I can see I can write consumptive irrigation requirement will be what is my consumptive use minus what is my effective rainfall. I can write it as RE or P effective. Okay, so suppose here I got 30. 4.7 cm as my consumptive use. Consumptive use is nothing but evapotranspiration which I got here. So that is my evapotranspiration for that season. Similarly, I will calculate what is my total effective rainfall. 